Welcome back and we are sending out late notices for storage units. So obviously people are not paying their rent. So they're getting a notice in the mail. The units are being locked out and we're telling them pay or vacate. And normally what that process looks like, it's, it's actually very easy. This is the one thing that I enjoy about storage units. We have to send them a first notice here in Wisconsin when they are whatever past due, five days, seven days, whatever your lease agreement states. We send them the notice. If they still don't pay, then in 14 days from that first notice, we can then issue the second notice that we are sending their unit to auction. And generally speaking, you need another 14 days and then you can actually auction the unit. So within a matter of 30 to 45 days, the unit's auctioned, it's sold, you don't have to worry about things. And it's a very quick and easy process, but nine times out of 10, they do end up paying up their unit. They just needed to find the funds. So that's what's going on this morning, but we are heading to some of the properties. We're gonna see where we're at with things, if we're wrapping it up, if we're not wrapping it up. And we already, we bought and relisted a place. We bought a place Monday, it's being relisted tomorrow, which is Thursday. So that's a quick turn. I'm going through a place tonight. Fingers crossed that we're gonna lock this up. So it should be a good start to the week. We're making progress as always. We're trying to get more deals. And because it is an office day, we are dealing with the same shit as normal when it comes to our Facebook advertising. People commenting, people voicing their opinion where it is not warranted or wanted for that matter. So I'm gonna show you how to block them. What you do is you go to the advertisement. So this lady, her English doesn't even make sense. But then we go here. Actually, no, we don't want to delete the comment. We want to go up here, see options, block. There we go, we're gonna banner, and then we delete the comment. And as simple as that, you don't have to deal with any of their bull crap anymore. So if you're running Facebook ads, I highly, highly encourage you to do that. But if you guys saw the title of this video, how long, how much time do you have to commit to storage unit management? Let's jump into that right now. So I put together a little bit of a breakdown for all of you to figure out the actual time commitment for our storage complexes. So we got storage number one, storage number two. These are the two complexes that I personally manage. Our other one that's about 105 units, another individual that we're partners with, he manages that one and does a great job. But storage unit number one, 97 units. This one's up north in Wisconsin, the one that I've done videos on in the past. 97 units, small city, job market is shitty. Like there, there's not a whole lot of jobs. There's not a whole lot to the community. So that sucks. It is a great location though. It's 90%. 98% currently occupied, economic occupancy is at 93%. So although we have one unit vacant, um, we have six units delinquent right now. Some of those are getting caught up, some are not. And this takes about two to three hours per month. I have to send out more delinquent notices. People end up paying, but it's just a larger time commitment. And that's the one downfall of being in a smaller city with a terrible job market and not a whole lot of people around. Collections can be extremely difficult. Versus the other facility, 31 units, very nice area, more affluent area there. There's houses nearby that are a million, a million five plus. Great location again, 96% occupied. We have one vacant unit. We are 100% economic occupancy, but one third of them pay for their rent yearly, which means I don't have to worry about collecting it every single month. And this takes me about 25 to 30 minutes a month to manage. So with those numbers, you can see it doesn't take a ton of time to manage storage units, but what can suck, what can get difficult is when you're making collection calls for $50 a month. That does get old, especially if it's the same tenants. But then what you normally do is you give those tenants a notice to vacate. They have to find another facility because you just don't want to deal with it. it and it might be easier to have a vacant unit than worrying about a tenant not paying or taking advantage of the system. That is the breakdown on our units, but let's go check out these Oshkosh properties of ours, see how they're progressing, if we can list them soon. Maybe, maybe not. So you guys caught a glimpse of the Eveline Street house. They are making quick progress with that. We are in my brother's place. It is coming along. I think everything is painted. As of right now, they are just waiting on flooring. So this one should be good. I don't know, I think. I believe this is the color of the painted, like a green-ish. Not too shabby. Bathrooms painted. Like a terracotta orange. Each their own on the colors. I like a neutral color tone, this one's all done. So the painter on this project 
I want to say she charged like a thousand bucks or something incredibly reasonable, which to me is insane. This house is like 1600 square feet. We probably budgeted like $3,200 on the rehab estimate to paint this entire place, but good for them that she was able to get it done sooner because any cost is passed on to them. So cheaper. We're at the Fond du Lac place and look at how nice this turned out. They are officially out of here. They're done. There's a miscellaneous or a few miscellaneous things that they can touch up. But overall, this place turned out absolutely amazing. I think we have probably like 30-ish stuck into it. So we bought it for 76, 77. So 30, we're in for 110, we'll say. Plan on listing for 145, 150. I'm assuming it's gonna sell fairly quick. Two car garage, four bed, two bath house. Can't really get anything for this price in the Fond du Lac area. Nice concrete driveway, nice fenced in backyard, so very hard to beat that good of a deal. But the nice part, it doesn't smell like cat in here anymore. It doesn't smell like freaking dogs. So all in all, those are two positive things. Basement lights are on. And I'm just taking out cobwebs down here, but this basement is very clean, it's very nice. But now we are going to be off. We have to go to Sheboygan Falls. So we are going to try and lock up another deal. Supposedly another investor went out there already. They couldn't get it done. So if we can do it right, if we can negotiate properly, we're gonna try to lock up another deal on the week. So let's see what we can do and see the house. So you guys saw the status updates on the properties and it is Friday today. Actually, we drove all day. We're down in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Not too shabby of a view. We are with Katie's family, so it should be a fun filled week. Of course, we'll take you along on the journey in the next video, so stay tuned. I'm actually going to show you in the next video how to drop Google ads in any single market or even Facebook ads in any single market. So stay tuned, peace. I'll see you in the next one.